Happy Sunday morning, everybody, from the Pensacola, Florida airport. Headed to Daytona Beach, Florida, to be with brother Rusty and nephew Steve. Come see us at the Broken Spoke on Highway 1 in Ormond Beach. Southern Country Customs. All right, listen, I don't dream this stuff up. It's, it's the stories that just keep coming. Herman, what do you think about Joey Legano's illegal gloves? Joe Legano was wearing illegal gloves. <laughs> Look like duck gloves to me. Let's nickname them duck gloves. All right, so here's the story. Uh, it, it's kind of funny. So, so the crew tells Joey, hey, Joey, when you qualified Atlanta and you go down the straightaway, take your hand, put it right here by your head because that's where the air wants to come in and that creates drag, that makes the car go slower. But if you put your hand up here and keep your fingers closed together, the air will not come in the car and the air will stay outside the car and the car will go faster. Joey's like, okay, I'll do what you tell me to do. We're a team, okay. Well, the team makes this glove, right? And you know, NASCAR has what is it, SIA, some, some type of abbreviation. I should know this because all my, all my fire suit stuff is right there. All my gloves and everything are, are in my helmet bag. So all that stuff is safety approved. It's got a marking on it. If you wear this, you're good to go. So that's what NASCAR is looking for. Well, th this glove was a glove. However, they took the glove in between the webs, in between the fingers, and they made it look like a duck. It was like a it was like a baseball glove, right? So all of a sudden, NASCAR goes, that looks weird. Illegal. My God, thousands of dollars in fine, embarrassment. <laughs> you know, it's kind of one of those deals like, hey, just put this glove on. It's got some stuff in between your fingers. All of a sudden it becomes national news, right? This is a story that's bigger than it should be. But, you know, that's how much laser focus there is on our sport. So, what would I have done? I would have done what the team told me to do. This is a two-time champion. Owner's Roger Penske. Listen, uh, here's, where, here's where Brother Rusty says, Herm, you got to remind them. You got to remind them because they remember what they want to. I know Roger Penske. My brother drove for Roger all those years. Roger Penske does not put up with any type of cheating any gray area. So I can guarantee you they didn't call up Roger and go, hey, Roger, uh, Joey's gonna wear a glove that looks like a duck's foot. <laughs> they just did it, because I can promise you, they never thought in a million years that this would be the drama that is. So, all right, my opinion, I told you my opinion, Joey did the right thing. Now, he didn't have to do it, but if the team tells you, hey, put this glove on, you're gonna set quick time, and oh, by the way, Joey does uh, get quick time a week later, so it wasn't the glove. You know, last week was the penalty in Atlanta. This week, he, he, he's, on, he's on pole. So, a little sweet revenge, uh, a little embarrassing. I agree with Joey. As you look right on the YouTube timeline right here, Joey says, I'm just a little embarrassed. And he does the Roger Penske thing. He takes, well, listen, I didn't have to wear the glove. That kind of bails the team out a little bit, but... This is the team's fault. This is all the team, their fault. They should be out there saying, hey, I apologize. Instead, Joey takes the hit. That's unfair. Joey's crew chief, Joey's team manager, everybody at Penske should be uh, saying they're sorry. But Joey, you're a good man. You're a big man because you're out, you're, you're there answering the tough questions. So mark one up, Joey Logano, the winner. He wears the glove because the team tells him to wear the glove, and he admits, but I didn't have to wear the glove. But what are you going to do? Oh, I'm not going to wear this glove, even though we've won two championships. Oh, by the way, this is our second pole. So I'm in the – hey, listen, I, I just – I think Joey did the right thing, but I really believe the team should step up, and I want to hear a little responsibility from them. All right, everybody, I'm headed to Daytona Beach. My plane is delayed a little bit. It was supposed to take off at 1024. And it says it's going to take off at 11 now. Maybe it's all this. Man, it's hazy here every morning. All right. 